Mm. So in comes Unai Emery, Danny, for Stephen Jarred. The same Unai Emery, I think, as you once described as a failure. <laughs> oh, I like that play on well. I said he failed here. He failed here? Yeah, he failed here with Arsenal. You called him a failure? Yeah. I did, yeah. He failed in, this, in the Premier League with Arsenal. I would call that job a failure. So Villa gone for the wrong man? Well... Not necessarily. I, I, I've been looking into it a bit and looking at his record. He's got a good record elsewhere. And that's that's the... Look, he's got experience of managing in a lot of countries with good players. So he's no mug. Let's put it that way. But I found the Arsenal side he managed a little bit perplexing in some of the ways they set up. I, I could not see what they were trying to do. They are all over the place in these latter stages, manager. So my feeling is that... well. When he came here, he failed. Yeah, I'll stick to that. But I, with the amount, with the amount of other stuff he's done elsewhere, I can see why they feel he might fit. That he might do the job. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with it. You know, I, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon of saying, well, he's, he's not the right man because he's not the, succeeded here before. You know, you look at Marco Silva now at Fulham. He's learned his lessons. But he got and, no latitude at Arsenal either, did he? Don't no, forget the first season he was quite successful. Second season the wheels come off. We are talking about a post Wenger era. And yeah, we get we get all of this fair. backstory about United. Well, you know, there was always going to be this problem. The person that took over from Alex Ferguson was always going to get it. Mm. Well, this was the fella. Yes. And he got no latitude. And then in the end, the whole world turned against him. Mm. The media ridiculed him and parroted him for the way that he spoke to them. The players didn't seem to be listening to him. Mm. He had the Granite Zaka challenge, that all that went with that. And so in the end, he was the architect of his own downfall. Now, here he has. He's gone back to a place in Spain where he's loved mm. they love him over there they love him in Spain he did a wonderful job for Sevilla he did. he's gone into Villarreal low expectation but notwithstanding it high reward he's gone in there got them organised so now that puts him in a situation where we know we know he can manage in La Liga the question is can he embrace the ambitions of Aston Villa and turn Aston Villa into a formidable force in the Premier League both with support from the owners and understanding the lessons that will still come knocking on his door. The media will still be waiting for him for his ridiculous out observations that he made and the way that he parroted things when he was doing press conferences. There'll be still the same challenges waiting for him, mm. but he's two or three years yeah. more well, resilient. I was, I was talking to an educated Arsenal fan earlier. and have uh, been on oh, Arsenal fan TV. Right, then, he, yeah, right. he suggested that... You're not saying Luke, are you? Just an educated Arsenal fan who, who well, I know quite well. Okay, what did he say? He said he wasn't particularly enamoured with the style of play either. Never mind the rules. Who was this educated Arsenal fan? My goodness. It's just somebody I respect. In the meantime, Unai Emery is coming over here next Tuesday. Incidentally, it's a three and a half year contract for Unai Emery. What about Stephen Gerrard, Danny? Uh, your mate, uh, one time pal, of course, uh, playing pal at Liverpool. Well, Canagher and Sooner spoke, spoke about, about Stephen Gerrard to us. And basically, what we're trying to find out is in their, in their view, what's next for Stevie G? I think it'd be a time for reflection, obviously, whenever any manager loses his job. But uh, I, th I think with Stevie Gerrard and players of his sort of stature, they don't need to take a job right away. I think they'll look at that and think, I'll wait for the right job. Now, whether that Stevie wants to go back in, I'm not so sure. But the three jobs he's taken, Liverpool, you team, obviously a huge club. Glasgow Rangers, giant of a football club in Scotland. He turned that club around. And Aston Villa, the biggest club in the Midlands and one of the biggest clubs in the country. So uh, he's... he's Picked and choose big football clubs with great history, and I think he'll wait for something similar to come along. Otherwise, I don't think he, he would go back in, but that's only uh, me. That's not Stephen's words. He'll have to drop down the league. I think championship clubs would still want, want him. You know, you go down there and, and do a good job, get them up, do well, and then, then get a bigger one. But I don't see any big clubs in the Premier League being interested in, in Stephen. I mean, it's an almighty blow to him. I mean, what's happened to him? It's an almighty blow. An almighty blow, said Graeme Sooners just the other day, Danny. I mean, Graeme suggesting, well, there's a championship, drops down to the championship, will he? Would he be prepared to do that? I think he probably will. Yeah, I think he will. Because what choice has he got? He's not going to get another Premier League job. I think Sooners, most of those points there were spot on. Um, you know, he's failed and he, he's going to have to, you have to take two steps back sometimes. I don't see him ending up anywhere abroad. I don't see that in him. You know, learning a new language and yeah. trying to go that route. I think championship would be the way. I do, I do think it was when he got the job. I, you know, the it was all like over the top kind of expectation of what was going to be achieved. I, I listened to Simon Graham talking. And Simon was spot on actually about the the net spend was. I mean, it was fourteenth or fifteenth this summer in the in the division. So where do you expect to be? Jim White and Simon Jordan.
Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.